What's up everybody, it's your boy Insane Apple Jackson. I'm here with the Time and Game Squad once again and today I'm here to do some Yu-Gi-Oh! topics and basically the reason I'm choosing to do stuff like this is because Regional Moose is actually coming up pretty soon and it's just some stuff that I've seen either on YouTube recently or just period in person that I've actually disliked or maybe thought things could go differently in this game or actually not even dislike because that'd be just putting everything to general because this week while I do videos on different Yu-Gi-Oh topics if I can get all of them out there you know me how I keep promises but uh, if I could get everything out there it might not all be negative but basically I have some stuff I would just like to talk about for the Yu-Gi-Oh community as a whole or just stuff out there in trading card games so uh basically today my first topic will actually be about binders or youtube binder videos because i've actually been looking through a few of those lately to actually find out if people had things that i needed to finish this deck for regionals and actually it's one of those things that's been really hard lately because Truly, when you're just getting into YouTube trading, you don't know who to trust and all this other bull. And it's really funny when people say, oh, I've been established for this long and all this. And you should trust me and you should send me your cards first. And this is what I want below. And we're talking about big money cards here because let's be honest. It's YouTube and people think just because, oh, I'm in front of a camera, I took the time to sit up here and make a video. I can get all your valuable cards for no reason. So, yeah, you have those guys. But it's not so much that people ask for high rarity cards or it's the fact that they want you to send to them first, even though they don't, they don't always have proof of them being good trade Men, I guess you would call them, but uh, it's more so the fact of the it's the quality of the whole video thing itself. I mean, really, when you think about how these videos are constructed, it's just very bullshitish. I mean, truly, looking back at the last few that I've seen, they've been about nine or ten minutes, but all I can remember out of them really is the guy saying, Oh, I'm not trying to make this video.